All right, let's give this another go, shall we? In this corner we have Tofu the Tasteless, and I'm gonna pair that up with some Dijon mustard. And we're gonna see if we can make that taste not like nothing. My other secret ingredient this time is gonna be apple cider vinegar. So we'll just put a splash of that in there. Bit of that. And I thought maybe garlic wouldn't hurt either. Ugh. Gotta love this garlic press. Gotta get these at, uh, you know, the restaurant supply stores. I've never seen them anywhere else. So you can just crank through tons of garlic with this and then when you're done, you go backwards, pops out your little, your little garlic sk skin there and you're good to go. Okay. There's a whisk of that up. Let us add our tofu. So last time you remember all the flavors got exploded by the oil. We got nothing out of it. This time I'm hoping it's a bit different. Now, you'll notice I am not marinating because the whole thing is you never think to marinate stuff. I don't. I just like, okay, I gotta make something. So I got tofu in the fridge. Uh, what am I gonna do with it? I'm not gonna sit around and wait for it to marinate at the last second. So that's the reason for that. I mean, you could probably smash some more flavors in there if you did. But uh, the whole point here is to make it quick, right? All right, now our old faithful cornstarch. I think we can get a quite a bit more actually. That's a pretty juicy mixture. Okay, ready for the frat pan. Let's uh, find out how hot we are here and I can show you my new toy. Let's see if we can get this in the shot. Yeah, this is saying 182 and my thermo, my actual thermometer is saying 178, 79, now we're 188. And I wonder if it doesn't have to do with the uh, the reflectivity of the surface. Oh, now we're both at 182, so it does stabilize. Interesting, so. Anyway, we're getting too hot, so we gotta put some stuff in here. Oh, as per before, you want it at about 150 C, which is 300 degrees. in uh, stupid units. Do a little inertial dampening on the bottom there. It'll free them up if they're stuck on the bottom, you know? Well, let's see what we're at now. Oh, 150, perfect. God damn, this thing's handy. Now, I was curious as to whether the outside of the pot is hotter than the oil, and it's reading about 162 on the outside, and 151 on the inside, so we've got about a 10 degree difference there. Hmm. And there's a reason I want to know that. In fact, that was part of the reason why I picked up this little cheapy tool. Is, uh, you know, don't you think it would be handy to have a little thermistor inside your pot 
that monitored the temperature of the contents and then had a little display on the handle somewhere that would, you know, tell you what the temperature was. I think that's a million dollar idea, I tell ya. You know, you could have it activated by heat, so you have a thermal switch. So once you start to heat something up, then it actually turns on. So you're not sitting there wasting battery all the time, and you don't need an on switch and an off switch. I don't know. I think it's a beauty. If I could prototype it, I would. You'll have to look into that. All right, there we are. I gotta say, they smell pretty mustardy. That might just be enough to trick you into thinking that there's actually some flavor in there. So I'll fry up the next batch and then we'll do the taste test. There you have it. Let's find out whether this is going to be tofu or tofu. Mm. Not quite as crunchy as the last one. Not sure why that is. And let's see how. Yeah. No, that's a fail. I mean, there's a slight, there's just a slight hint of something, but eh, it's not worth it. Back to the drawing board, people. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Oh my God, what have I done? It's beets, people. Roasted beets, here's your bonus. Uh, this stuff is candy. It is like candy, I swear to God. Olive oil. pepper and salt and then you're gonna toss that and on to what the hell do you call these baking pans onto a baking pan. You want to make them a little bit big because uh, they shrink down, eh? They get smaller. Nobody likes shrinkage, but in this case, turns them into little delicious morsels. They get kind of sweet too, so. And uh, bake at 425 for however long it takes. I'm not sure, probably around a half an hour, but keep an eye on them. Enjoy. They bake at 425 for about the same amount of time. Eh, actually, maybe these are a little bit faster, so I might want to hold off on these or do them a little bit later. Same deal though, olive oil, salt, pepper, toss, pan, oven. Sorry, I won't bother you again.